Hi, Bruno here. Welcome to Spain Guru. What do you need to get prescription medicines refilled in Spain and how much do they cost? Does anyone have experience getting prescription meds refilled in Spain? What do you need and how much do they cost? Is there a resource to learn whether specific medication is available? I'm trying to find out before arriving to Spain so I know how much I need to bring with me. And I don't know how to do that from the US. I take mesalamine from Crohn's. Is anyone getting that? And if so, what's the cost currently? Thank you again for all the replies and I will have a private insurance that does not cover prescriptions. Let's see the answers from Spain Guru's uh, community members. In heavy tourist area, it is easy without prescription. If possible, get the no-name brand, even paying the full cost. Second answer. Probably depends on what meds. I just went to the doctor, told them what I was taking and for what and got a prescription. In my case, it was Eutirox for Hashimoto and I think it costs around 5 euros. Eutirox generic is Levotiroxine. I have Hashimoto's also. I have often bought 100 Levotiroxine in Spain for 6 euros with no prescription. Also, don't need a prescription for Metformin or Lisinopril and each of the three costs less than my copay in USA. The first time I asked if I needed a note from a doctor, I couldn't remember the best word for prescription. Pharmacist said yes, but gave it to me anyway. Maybe she didn't know what it meant. Pharmacists in several cities have not asked to see a prescription. Next, best to talk to a doctor or pharmacist. There are too many variables. Unless you want to be more specific about what kind of healthcare you have, what kind of medication in particular you're asking about, and so on. Next answer, just ask for it at the pharmacy. If you need a prescription, they'll tell you. If the name is different in Spain, they have a really thick book that cross-references. One of mine is not available in Spain, but the pharmacist and I researched together online and found an alternative that my doctor approved by email, which needs a prescription in USA, but not in Spain. Next answer. In Spain, you either contribute to the health state system by working or being a state pensioner and generally pay 10 to 40% of the retail cost of all drugs prescribed by your doctor at the Centro de Salud or you go private. The latter entails a visit to a private doctor unless you want an OTC drug. Private doctors operate independently or in clinicas. You pay to visit the doctor and pay full retail price for all drugs. Some community members answers that may be helpful does anyone have any recommendations on where to obtain free medicines in Spain? You have the link in the article. And once moved to Spain on a non-lucrative visa, it's easy to obtain regular medication. And also you will find the link in the article here. Next answer. My experience. For most of my meds, it has been cheaper in Spain, even out of pocket, than what I paid with insurance in the USA. Primary example is that the inhaler I use in the US, even with insurance in the US, I used to pay about $175 per inhaler. Without insurance, it was around $350 in the US. Turns out that here in Spain, simply paying with cash and no insurance even involved, it's $7. My math may be bad, but that means it was about 50x more expensive in the US. 50 times more. Having said that, I'd guess that there are some meds that might actually be more expensive here in Spain though. And be prepared to get some meds in tiny boxes with 14 days supply. None of those 6 month Costco bottles here as far as I can tell. In conclusion, obtaining prescription medication in Spain can vary depending on factors such as a specific medication, location and whether you have private insurance. According to the responses from Spain Guru's Facebook group members, it appears that obtaining certain medications without a prescription is possible in heavy tourist areas and that the cost of drugs in Spain can be reasonable, even without a health insurance. However, it is important to note that the availability and cost of the medication can vary and it may be beneficial to consult with a doctor or pharmacist for specific information. Additionally, some group members mentioned that it may be cheaper to obtain certain medications in Spain compared to the US. It is also worth noting that some medicines may be more expensive in Spain and that the packaging may be different from what you are used to. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of the new content that we upload to the video. And if you need expert advice, just go on spainguru.es. You will find immigration lawyers. You will find also tax experts if you need to file taxes in Spain and also in the USA. 
you will find also relocation services in Spain, apostille services from the US, sworn translators, and health insurances when you apply for no lucrative visa, when you apply for uh, golden visa, student visa, you will need health insurances as well. And we also offer certificate of good health for the UK residents. And also if you need to go back to the States and you need a health insurance, we also offer those health insurances too. And of course, if you want to be part of a community, please join our Facebook group, uh, Spain Immigration and Residency Questions, Spain Guru. Yes. Uh, with more than 16,000 members where you can ask any single question related to Spanish uh, immigration issues and you can do it also anonymously. You can also join our non-lucrative visa group with more than 800 members, our Spanish digital nomad visa group. Very important, last but not least, please subscribe to our newsletter. You can opt out anytime. We send this newsletter every single Monday morning and we feature top discussions on our community and uh, any news related to Spanish immigration. That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. I wish you a great day. This is Bruno from SpainGuru.es. Goodbye.